this seems like the first time in a couple of months where I've really properly spoken to you. The fact is I'm struggling with my creativity. I'm making this to prove to myself that I still can and maybe spark some kind of creativity in my mindset that makes me actually want to do this again. I've always thought of myself as someone who overthinks and just thinks too much and I told myself at the start of 2019 that I wasn't going to as much. That's not what happened at all. I went into this video really, really strong, but ironically, I found myself in the same mind frame that I did in this video where I was just I just couldn't create anything and it was a real struggle to actually make something and maybe it's a seasonal thing I'm not too sure but it's strange how in the process of making this 2019 video which was meant to be a really enriching thought processing thought provoking rather video about 2019 and possibly that decade but I don't have the capac the mental capacity and effort I guess sounds horrible but genuinely true to make that video so what am I going to do I don't know <laughs> I don't know I hope you enjoy the next few minutes of this video whatever it is There comes a point every year where my internal monologue just turns sour. It's like the faders go down in my control room and I suddenly become a passenger to life. For me this happens as the year ends and starts. New Year is a time of self-evaluation and rebuilding, but it's hard when you've mentally destroyed everything that you've built for yourself. And I know what you're thinking, gee, Sam, what a brilliant way to start the new year with a really deep and depressing video, but this isn't the first time. So why does it happen every year? 2020 is meant to be the most important year of my life, and it will be. In terms of how I'm feeling right now, I'm a six. This video is a perfect example of my mind frame right now. See, the start of this video was very, very heavily produced with, like, effects and all, all all sorts of things but what you're watching right now is raw just I mean yes I've scripted this but that's not the point but what you're watching right now is a string of consciousness just thought processes and that's what I've been doing for the past year decade even is just living off these thought processes and sometimes I let it get to me too much and I'm fully aware of that but I'm gonna start this properly a few minutes in maybe I'm not sure yet hi I'm Sam Chaplin if I anyway my mental health is a huge part of my life now that sentence may in itself sound a bit heavy but I have built myself a mechanism internally that combats any feeling of insecurity and negativity it's just that sometimes it doesn't work scientifically speaking I know that I'm not alone in this Seasonal depression comes in turn with Christmas and New Year, for me anyway, which are two very, very big occasions. Every year, every New Year since 2013, I've fallen down this rabbit hole. I usually, put, I usually pull myself out by my birthday, but why do I do it? Why do I personally go through it annually? It could be the loss that I suffered last decade. After all, it did start in 2013 with my mum. After a string of unsuccessful relationships, two moves, two jobs and a lot of personal change, I'm just a big mess. I've learned to hide things pretty well and I guess that's a result of my childhood. A lot of memories I've suppressed and kept hidden. Throughout my teenage years I've recorded most of my life. 
I look back on these memories with fondness and it's nice to watch them back. It's like time travel. Maybe a spring clean is needed. Let's push things forward to 2020. The year I become a landlord, a businessman, an adult. Are you ready? I think I am. 